disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no, they suck. Person. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They shit on you. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me? Jordan, Caleb Carter, it's like, they shit on you. They shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, Caleb Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, this time of year really and truly stinks because there's nothing going on um we've got something new here we've got actually this new clock that is digital and it's going through and it's giving you all of the uh information we've got the countdown clock that's on here i'm still trying to figure out where exactly to put it but you can see it's got the commander's game it's got um the Eagles game, the Giants game, and all that, so we can keep up with everything that is going on in the NFL season, and I believe we're only 72 days away from kickoff. So let me know what you think about the clock and where you think it should go. Should it go up here, up here higher maybe, and see how it works, or maybe right in here someplace? And I'm wondering if it being elevated it'll clear it up a little bit more but we'll, we'll figure it out it's a, a little new toy that we have here at the joe boo sports report so with this being the silly season of the off season um there's not a whole lot that's going on and actually in comparison to what's going on with san francisco with brandon Ayuk and his contract situation or going in with the Eagles, which is the head coach, the quarterback, the offensive coordinator, the ownership, all of that. And um, of course, Jerry Jones trying to throw uh, the Bengals owner under the bus and stuff because it's all about money. Other than that, there's nothing really going on with the Cowboys. We know that Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb's holding out, um, although not you know, saying that the team doesn't want him. And you got Micah Parsons doing Micah Parsons things, doing his kids' uh, camps and stuff, and getting himself ready for the NFL season. Other than that, there's not much going on, and so everybody's looking for something to talk about. So this was an interesting story I saw yesterday. The Cowboys trading Dak Prescott at midseason. Say what? Obviously, this would entail Cowboys falling out of contention by midseason. It's improbable, but we're going bold here, people. And still, I really wouldn't be shocked. The Cowboys did nothing to improve in the offseason on our financially handcuffed by Prescott's $55 million salary cap hit in the final year of his current deal. Head coach Mike McCarthy looks like a lame duck. C.D. Lamb is disgruntled. And the team generally looks worse off now than it did at the end of the season. I'll dispute that because the Cowboys have done Cowboy things. They still actually have a little bit of cash that's there. And they always wait till about training camp to do stuff. You know, they brought in Anthony Barr. It was during training camp. When they got Diggs' contract done, it was in training camp. So it, this is nothing new. It was Zeke Elliott's contract. This was training camp, okay? That's what they do. That's next month. If they go through training camp and then haven't done any of these, then I'd worry. Then I'd worry. But the Cowboys always like the headlines. Okay, so the odds might be similar, but I view the Eagles as a clear-cut favorite in the NFC East. Okay, that's perception and figure out what reality is because it seems like they're kind of imploding. I'm sitting here going through when I look at the schedule and they literally, I'll do that later on, but literally squeak by, squeak by so many games. Be that as it may, they have too much talent not to bounce back while Dallas looks primed to regress. And if that happens, the organization could very well decide it's time to move on from Prescott, who's been part of two playoff wins and has thrown four interceptions 
in the team's last two postseason losses. Quarterbacks rarely move in the middle of the season, but most of the ingredients are there in this case. Now, if a contender were to suffer a major injury at quarterback, or if a team like Las Vegas or Seattle finds itself in contention in spite of what it has at quarterback, a deadline blockbuster involving Prescott could come to fruition. This will never, ever happen. Never happen. It just won't. That's kind of crazy. However, I've got to actually run out here because today we've got the autograph signing show and I've got to take care of a couple things, mainly my AC. Uh, I think my Freon is a little low, so i got to go pick up a keg of that so I can top it off. So that way, when it hits 98, 99 degrees, we're not burning our ass up. Be that as it may, Mike Garofolo is talking about the odds Dak Prescott leaves the Dallas Cowboys. Why does it seem like Jerry Jones is more than content to let Dak hit free agency, Mike? It does, despite what he's been saying. I mean, I, I left the league meeting uh, when, it, when Jerry spoke and indicated that they were comfortable kind of letting this play out a little bit and everything that we heard down there was like whoa this is actually yeah this sounds like he's going to play it out and be a free agent and then the cowboys tried to walk it back and jerry and stephen jones both saying that it's still a priority to get him done now i've been given no indication they're any closer um and when you've got the potential for 60 million sitting out there and (laughs) listen i always this goes back to, like, Kirk Cousins after he collected a couple mm-hmm. of franchise tags. Oh, he's betting on himself. Well, it's a lot easier to bet on yourself with, in Dak's case, $160 million off his last contract plus what he made before that in your pocket. All right? That's a, that's a lot easier uh, bet when you're at $200 million overall uh, in career earnings plus whatever you made off the field as well. So no doubt that he's willing to do that. I, I just feel like the, the pressure on Dak is not a monetary one. The pressure on Dak is just – you know, everything we've been talking about, about, you know, you can put up the numbers in the regular season and uh, you get to the postseason, this team has got to win. This team's got to advance. We've got to see the Cowboys back in the conference championship game and potentially uh, the Super Bowl at some point. So that, that's the biggest thing for him. Um, we know the pressure on the head coach, but I don't think Dak Prescott enters this season with his knees knocking at the prospect of free agency. If anything, no. he's played well in, in free agent years before. No, if anything, he would love it. If I'm Dak, I... I would love it. Look, barring the major injury, and he's already gone through that, and obviously the injury can complicate everything for any player in the NFL, but I I, I would love it. It, it, Listen, even if they go like nine and eight, okay, there, there are so many fingers to be pointed inevitably on that team, in that organization. He is still going to break the bank next year if he is a free agent. Mm-hmm. I, I Like the world... The war, like things that would have to go wrong for Dak Prescott to be a free agent and not be highly compensated Mm -hmm. and sought after. Like, I can't even imagine what that story would have to be for him to hit free agency and for him to not have a long list of suitors. No, it again, to me, it's not monetary. It's the lore of being the quarterback of the Cowboys. And who knows? He may be he may be done with it. Listen. At some point, Tom Brady was done being quarterback of the Patriots and wanted to go somewhere else for factors that didn't have anything to do with the team mm-hmm. or the fan base or the location or anything like that. But he may say, you know what, depending on how the season goes, enough of this, I got the chance to go elsewhere. Let me go elsewhere with a lot less noise. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm projecting. I mean, he'll never say that. I've been given no indication that that's the case. But that may be part of it. He may want to play this out and say, let me see what my options mm-hmm. are. Let me see what we are. You're never going to get an I mean. Okay. Yeah. Let's say that let's say the Cowboys fire Mike McCarthy uh, after the season. We know we, his situation. Obviously, it would be a reboot from a head coaching standpoint. But you're never going to get a full reboot with the Cowboys, right? I mean, that's <laughs> the thing. We've been talking about Belichick or whoever. It's going to be a proven coach, and it's going to be a hit the ground running type situation. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's going to be from that standpoint. A la Matthew Stafford, where he said, "You know what? I've been in Detroit. It hasn't happened." I can't sit here for another two years while we're rebooting. I've got to go elsewhere where I can win right away. It's not going to be that type of situation. It's just going to be a, you know, at the end of this this run with Dallas, at a pivotal point in your career where at some point things are going to start to fall off, Mm -hmm. do you want to explore the possibility of playing elsewhere? Again, it's not a monetary thing. 
it's not a you know worry about suitors type of thing you know barring injury like you said uh, but it may be just uh, where he is in his career and what he wants to do and what he wants to see going forward. Catch the Rich Eisen show. That's kind of a crazy take. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what's going on with the Cowboys? But I would say look for training camp to see these things getting done. Um, this is the drama that Jerry Jones has loved to bring to the Cowboys, and we don't see it changing anytime soon. All right, good people, I appreciate you as always, and peace out. Our folks here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report.